deploying an IDF application to a remote WebLogic server. A couple of things you might want to set up in advance. If you go to your application module configuration and you edit it, you probably want to use a JDBC data source. Um, you then need to define the JDBC HRDS data source on your remote WebLogic server. That's one thing. And the other thing you probably want to set up is on your project um, in the Java E application, you want to give it a meaningful name like App1 or something that you remember. Right. Then you can actually run the project from inside JDeveloper uh, on the integrated server. You'll get this URL and your application would be running over here in Firefox. Right, now let's do actually do a deployment. What you want to do is go to the application menu, choose Deploy. To, and if you don't have already a connection to your remote server, create a new connection. Okay, give it a name, for example, remote WebLogic server. Click next, provide the user and password for the WebLogic admin. Set all the properties, you can test the connection if you want to. Click finish. Now you'll get a deployment tab over here in the log window and the deployment will begin. What JDeveloper actually does is build the whole project, then creates WAR file and IL file from those uh, components, all the components that are needed, and then goes off and deploy it to the remote server. Okay. Once the deployment has been successfully done, all you need to do is go over and pick up the same URL that you used in your integrated server, open a new tab, and this time instead of faxing the integrated server, which is on port 7101, go to port 7001, in my case, which is the remote server, and invoke your page. And your page shows up, and your application should function normally. There you go.